So, hey guys, what is going on? My name is Jacob from Cinema K Productions, and in today's episode, I'm going to be showing you guys how to improve your microphone quality live. And I'm not talking like post, how I have done in my previous tutorials, which has been how to make your laptop make sound like a studio mic, and how to make any microphone sound like a studio microphone. This is how to like actually improve your microphone's quality pure, right there, right on point. This can be used for Skype, TeamSpeak, Discord, uh, Curse, you know, live streaming, OBS, XSplit, all of that shaz, whereas uh, I use it for NVIDIA Shadowplay. It helps me out so much. I've been getting this request a lot recently, so here I am showing you guys how to do it. This link will be down in the description, by the way. But the program that we're going to be using is called VB Audio or Voice Meter. Um, this is really freaking awesome. Voice Meter Banana, actually. This is the updated version, a lot more advanced, a lot more user settings. If you want to, you could take a quick little skim through all this freaking like book and instead of listening to my stupid voice, it gives you guys like an in-depth tutorial right here, right there. It's 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 really awesome to be honest. Uh, if you don't want to listen to my voice, just listen to that or read that, and it'll go way better, probably. Uh, but to install it, you just go down here, the little EXE file. It's a lot easier if you want to. You can do the zip package, but uh, I usually just do the EXE file. And what I recommend you guys do for future use is you can literally just donate. Like I think it's five dollars the minimum that they ask for. But um, or is it right here? Price is around twenty to fifty. Um, I don't remember. That's euros. So I donated five bucks and I got it. Let's just say that. Um, but if you donate five bucks and you can get certain outputs available to you, so whenever you download BB Audio Cable or Voice Meter, uh, you'll only get this cable output number one, and that's that's not bad. And I guess you'll get these Voice Meter outputs as well. But uh, if you want more for future use, I definitely recommend you donate because they'll just give them to you for five bucks. It's really easy. So whenever you get it installed, you're actually going to have to restart your computer. So uh, just save this in your history, come back to the video, and I'll see you guys then. So if you want to go ahead and open up Voice Meter Banana, go for it. Uh, you should actually already have your recording devices. You should have the Voice Meter output. If you want to go ahead and set that to default, that would probably help you out a little bit uh, for the future so you just don't forget for next time. But um, whenever you get Voice Meter Banana open, it won't look anything like this. I think all, none of this will be moving. None of this over here will be moving. None of this right here will be moving. It'll just look default fresh. Uh, I will let you guys know there will be two very, uh, very specific links down in the description. If you have a Blue Snowball Ice Microphone or Blue Snowball Microphone or a microphone uh, like the AT2020, the Audio-Technica 2020, you guys are in luck because those are the two microphones that I've had. So I have made my own personal configs for those. So that will be down in the description. All that you have to do to load those is go to Menu, Load Settings, and then you can load it. It's really, really easy for you guys. You're done, honestly, right there. You can skip this next little portion. For all you people out there that actually need to go through these settings, I'm going to pause the video like right now, and I'll have like an in-depth tutorial going um, for you guys. So I will see you on the flip side of that. So yeah, see ya. Okay, so what you guys are hearing right now is actual raw audio from Voice Meter Banana. This is coming from my microphone directly from Shadowplay. Uh, there's no editing being done to it except for what's done in this program. So, if I were to, let's say, move... Ah, I'm not even going to do that. I'm just going to show you guys how to do this. Okay, I'm sorry. Um, first off, make sure you have your microphone selected. Uh, MME and WDM don't really mean too much unless you actually know what you're doing. So if you head on over to your recording devices and you head on over to your actual microphone that you're going to be recording with, you go to Properties and then you go to Advanced. If you check out the Hertz level, or yeah, the Hertz, um, I have 4400 pretty much, or 44000, that's what I call it, 44100. CD quality is set. I'm going to be going to MME. If you have 48000, you're going to go to WM, of WDM, sorry. Higher the uh, higher the words, the better the quality. Lower the words, the worse the quality. That's basically how I put it. I just set the low quality so that I can have a better, a lower bit rate, um, and keep my file sizes low. So if you're working on a small hard drive or something like that, I would definitely recommend doing that. But if you're live streaming, go ahead, go with the high quality. It might help you out in the long run. Uh, next thing I'm gonna show you guys what happens is um, if you want to listen to yourself do this so you can get perfect quality. You're going to go over here to this A1 button, and you're going to find the headset that you're using. Make sure you actually select what microphone quality you chose, though. So I'm going to choose my And if you guys did it under A1, which you should have because I just did, uh, if you click the A1 on your actual microphone now, you'll be able to hear yourself. I'm personally not going to do this. So if you want to pause this video, click A1, start to listen to yourself talk, and fiddle around with all these settings, go for it. It'll definitely help you out. Um... It's basically so you can hear yourself talk so you know the perfect settings. There is going to be about a minute, like half a second delay, so it will mess with your head a little bit. It's kind of hard to listen back. But, uh, I, yeah, I don't really know how to describe it, to be honest. So, what's really cool is you can actually choose the bass levels. I will fiddle around with this for you. So, I'm just going to be going 
through all these settings. So this is going to sound really weird for here a little bit, but um, just bear with me, okay? So here's where it is right now. If I keep on talking, you can tell that my bass is getting a lot deeper right now. And if I go over here, there's no bass at all. And actually up here, I'm pretty certain I sound like I'm in a helicopter, but it might be down here. I don't really remember. One of these sounds really freaking stupid. I don't really remember which one. Hopefully you guys can understand me. I have no idea what's going on right now. And I'm just going to move it back right to where it should be. So that's what that does right there. It kind of figures out what the mess around the highs, the lows, all that jazz was. With the AT2020, I figured this was the best spot. Whenever I had my snowball, it was right about there. So it does differ per microphone. Now, this little gate right here really helps you out. So if I just stop talking right now, you'll be able to hear the background noise start to fade away. So I'm just going to stop talking. As you guys can tell, the background noise eventually faded away, and that's because I had this gate here. This gate determines how long it takes for that little background noise to uh, get picked up and then get taken away. So if I have mine set to, let's say, 5, it's going to basically, as soon as I'm done talking, it's just going gonna, it's just gonna to be done talking like, like that. You know, and if I'm not talking at a certain level, then it will just pick, it'll take it out automatically. That's why I have mine set to kind of a low amount, but then again, it's kind of a high amount. So the boost of the microphone just kind of increases the uh, audio of it. Just overall quality. I like it in the end. Um, I don't really have a problem with it being high or low. It's just kind of happy medium I found. So, whenever you're done with all that, you're pretty much good to go. What I would recommend you do, though, is turn off this A1 so you don't hear yourself anymore, and set this back to VB Audio Point KS. Please make sure you don't hear yourself anymore unless you want to. So, yeah, uh, I guess I'll see you guys at the other side of this now. Alright, sweet. Now that you know how to use Voice Meter Banana, uh, you can actually just minimize out of it. You're done, pretty much. As long as you've already selected your recording device to that Voice Meter output, you're good to go. Bam. Now, the program I'm going to be using to demonstrate is going to be OBS Studio. Um, great program. I have nothing wrong with it. Might use a little bit too much CPU, but that's okay. So what you guys want to do is head on over to File, Settings, and then you're going to go to your audio. And all that you want to do is make sure that your microphone auxiliary audio device is set to voice meter output. The one that you just set to your default. You're going to click Apply and you're going to click OK. And as you guys can see right here, it's kind of like skimming through it already. So if I just stop talking, it'll go down by itself. That's because it has a noise gate on its own program. It's basically live recording. But if I go to my uh, my filters, I have no noise gates on it. So as you guys can see, voice meter is doing it all by itself. If I actually go into the program, you can see it do it live here. So yeah, it's really awesome how it works. Uh, that's pretty much all I have for you guys. It's really, really easy to use. If you guys did enjoy this tutorial, make sure you guys give that like button a huge enter. Also subscribe because I like having people subscribe to me. You guys are freaking awesome, and a lot of you have been showing your support recently. It's absolutely amazing. Like, on my most viewed video, one of the comments, here's a shout out. I might start doing this. Oh, wow. One of the comments, uh, where'd he go? Son of a gun. It's in the newers. Here he is. This guy needs 100k subs. You the man. You the man. Shout out to that guy, alright? You the man. Thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Jacob, and I will see you guys later. Bye.